how to apply a hologram effect to a subject recorded in a green screen video in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.5. Inside your project's edit window, hold in Ctrl or Command if you're a Mac user and press I to insert a green screen video clip of your choice. Inside your Media Pool Master Bin, click and drag on the thumbnail that appears inside your folder representing your chosen clip and drag this to your edits timeline. Right click on your chosen edit and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion Nodes panel, with Media in one selected, hold in Shift and press Space. Using the search box at the bottom of the Select Tool window, go to find the Brightness Contrast tool, select this and go to click on Add. This should be automatically connected between your existing in and out nodes. We will adjust some of the properties in the inspector window for brightness and contrast later after we have applied other features of our hologram filter to this video clip. With brightness and contrast 1 still selected, hold in shift and press space and go to add a merge tool. Brightness and contrast should automatically be connected via the yellow background arrow to merge 1. In order to apply the light blue colour shade of our hologram, we need to insert a background node. First deselect all the nodes on your fusion grid by clicking anywhere in the empty grid section and go to select a background option from the nodes panel above. Click on the grey box to the right of background 1, hold and drag your mouse cursor down to the green arrow above merge 1, which represents the foreground. With background 1 selected, go to inspector and underneath colour, Double click on the black box next to colour under background. In order to apply a vibrant cyan shade to our chosen subject here in the video clip, go to select the cyan presets option from the basic colour menu which appears. The hex decimal code representing this particular shade is hash 00FFFF. Click OK. To apply the colour shade to the subject in the green screen video, whilst also ensuring that the subject appears on screen, with merge one selected, go to inspector, and underneath Merge, change the Apply mode from Normal to Overlay. With Merge 1 still selected, hold in Shift and press Space once again. And this time go to add the Ultra Kia tool. We will use this tool to remove the green screen background surrounding our subject. With this new tool selected underneath Inspector and pre matte select the Color Picker icon alongside Background Color. Hold your mouse button down and drag to the green shade surrounding your subject in the video clip preview. Selecting the point in the green shade which results in the majority of the green disappearing from screen. Do not worry if there is minor transparent alpha values showing on your subject, as we will also be applying a transparency effect to the subject later on. Return to your brightness and contrast node, and underneath controls in Inspector, make the relevant changes to the properties Contrast and Brightness. In this particular example, I will increase the contrast and brightness slightly to make the features of the subject more prominent on screen. Your adjustments to these two properties may depend on the subject that you have chosen. Now select Ultra Kia once again, hold in Shift and press Space once again, and go to add Soft Glow. We will use this node to add vibrancy reminiscent to that from a flashing computer screen. I'm changing the gain value from 2 to 0 0.3 and I will spread out the overall glow more by incrementing the value of glow size from 10 to 15. If you wish to apply a more darker look to your hologram filter, you can deselect the blue option underneath filter in soft glow also. Return to your edits window, go to effects and underneath toolbox select open effects and use the search box to help find the flicker edition filter. Click and drag this to your video clip on the timeline. Go to Inspector and find the Flicker Edition properties underneath Effects. To ensure that the brighter tones of your subject flicker, change Flicker Type from Flicker Gamma to Flicker Gain. And I will reduce the intensity and velocity of the flicker effect by decreasing the values of Range and Speed to 0.1 and 0.3 respectively. And I will also increment the Smoothness value to 1 to ensure that the flicker transition between light and dark is not abrupt. And I will maintain the default values applied throughout the rest of this effect for flicker quality and global blend. Return to your effects library and in open effects, go to find the scan lines filter. Click and drag this to your video clip. Underneath inspector and effects, find the scan lines properties in your inspector window. 
The only change that I will make here in these properties is I will increase the line frequency to 12.5 so that the subject's features become more prominent on screen, whilst creating a texture reminiscent of a computer monitor. Return to video. Adjust the horizontal and vertical positioning of your subject using position X and Y respectively. And you can also make slight adjustments to your to create a three-dimensional effect. Underneath composite, reduce the opacity slightly to 90, so that a background that you choose to add may stand out slightly. As a demonstration, I will click and drag the video clip on my edit timeline upwards to video track 2, creating space on the track below through a background that I will choose from the effects library. And from generators and the subdirectory fusion generators, I will click and drag a texture background edit to the video track directly below my hologram edit. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.